Thank you. And I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And I'd also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues, uh, both in the Federal and Northern Territory Parliament that are here with me. Uh, Alice Springs is an important part of our community. Central Australia is an important part not only of the Northern Territory but Australia. After discussions with the Prime Minister and his team, we are going to be announcing measures immediately to support the community of Alice Springs and Central Australia. But I will say up front that not everyone will be happy with today's announcements. The community has called on the government to step up, to step in and to help with a range of solutions and trials and that is what we are going to do. But in return, I ask the community to work with us. As you've heard from the Prime Minister, we'll be appointing a Central Australian Regional Controller who will be making sure that all levels of government are working in partnership to deliver what is needed to help our community. This is not just the township of Alice Springs, but it is the broader Central Australian community. We have seen decades of neglect under the previous coalition government and changes in policies that have had an impact. And I'm very pleased that Darrell Anderson has agreed to take this position. Someone who has lived and worked in Central Australia for a number of years, someone who gets it. In terms of alcohol, we have done more than any other government around alcohol policy and measures to reduce harm in our community. But we need to give the community respite and support, and we need to do that immediately. You saw action from the police over the weekend, and we have already reduced trading in Central Australia on a Sunday. We will now have takeaway alcohol-free days on Monday and Tuesday. We will also have alcohol reduced hours on the remaining days from 3 o'clock to 7 p.m. only for takeaway alcohol. We will also introduce one transaction per person each day, and we are able to do this immediately through the Band Drinker Register. So I do ask the community to understand we do not take these decisions lightly, but these are measures to reduce the amount of alcohol in our community. Is it a decision that police fully support? And by reducing that amount of alcohol, we will reduce the harm. So these measures, coupled with the other restrictions and measures we have placed in the Northern Territory, along with an on-premise BDR blitz, will help reduce that alcohol in our community. So we all have a role to play, and it will significantly reduce that amount of alcohol. We'll put that in place for three months. And whilst uh, that is in place, we will work on other measures, as we have done continually since we came to government in 2016. And we'll also work with the Commonwealth around a package, particularly to support kids and families. We will have two facilities that will stand up, that will allow children to remain with their families, but to have the support and programs. And these won't be located in Alice Springs. We will look at alternative models to provide that support and care. Central Australia is a very special place. The Prime Minister and myself as Chief Minister, we won't give up. This team here won't give up. There is tough work that needs to be done, but we are here listening to the community and working with them. In terms of the alcohol restrictions, we have seen changes over the pre previous six months. Peter Dutton was a part of the coalition cabinet that sat there and let the Stronger Futures law lapse in the Northern Territory. Yet over the last few weeks, he's played politics with this issue without even visiting the Northern Territory. But we have let the data settle. It's clear after six months that we need to make further changes, and you've seen that with the measures announced today. I can't make further changes immediately. We put in an opt-in system, and we have seen communities opt-in. That opt-in finishes next week, and what I commit to is looking at the system, working with the community, including the possibility of placing an opt-in system.